This video is sponsored by Squarespace. The James Webb Space Telescope, a titan in the world of astronomy, has recently provided a stunning view of the Crab Nebula, one of the most interesting deep sky objects. The image showcases the nebula's stunning features with unparalleled clarity. The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant that marks the site of a stellar explosion that occurred approximately 1,000 years ago, in 1054. Before Webb's observation, the Hubble Space Telescope's 2005 imagery provided the clearest view of the Crab Nebula. However, Webb's first observations have yielded an image now considered the most detailed and informative depiction of this celestial object to date. But what exactly is the Crab Nebula, and why is it so significant in astrophysics? Moreover, what captivating insights has the James Webb Space Telescope unraveled about this nebula? We generally refer to nebulae as the birthplace of stars. However, the Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant. Typically, a massive star nearing the end of its life cycle undergoes a dramatic collapse and subsequent explosion, known as a supernova. The expelled material forms a vibrant cloud of gas and dust called a supernova remnant. As this debris field expands, it interacts with surrounding interstellar materials, generating shock waves and emissions across various wavelengths. The Crab Nebula is one such remnant, representing the remains of a massive star's explosive end, first documented by Chinese and Arab astronomers of the 11th century. Later, it gained the moniker Crab Nebula in the 1840s, when William Parsons observed it through a 36-inch, 91-centimeter telescope. Parsons' sketch, depicting a structure resembling a crab with arms, led to the nebula's popular name. The Crab Nebula lies approximately 6,500 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Taurus. Despite its considerable distance, it can be observed with a telescope as a faint, hazy patch in the northern hemisphere's night sky. The reason why the Crab Nebula is so important for astronomers is because of what lies at its center. At its heart resides the Crab Pulsar, a neutron star that rotates at an impressive rate of 30.2 times per second. This pulsar can emit radiation across the broad spectrum, ranging from gamma rays to radio waves. Remarkably, at energies exceeding 30 kilo electron volts, it stands as the brightest continuous gamma ray source in the sky. Upon examining the remarkable image of the Crab Nebula, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, one initially notices its resemblance to the optical wavelength image the Hubble Space Telescope took in 2005. The Webb image reveals a vibrant, cage-like structure of fluffy gaseous filaments in red-orange hues, indicating the presence of doubly ionized sulfur-3, a feature also observed by Hubble. However, Webb's capabilities extend far beyond this similarity as it can see infrared light. Infrared emissions, with their longer wavelengths compared to visible light, can penetrate dust clouds without being absorbed. This quality allows infrared observations to reveal celestial phenomenon that remain hidden in optical wavelengths. Before we dive deeper into Webb's tour of the Crab Nebula, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you're someone who has no coding experience or software knowledge, but still wants to establish an online presence, like building a website or an e-commerce store, Squarespace has got your back. With Squarespace, you can easily create a stunning website, showcase your work, and connect with your audience without hiring a developer. Squarespace also offers powerful blogging tools for sharing ideas, scheduling content, and integrating with third-party tools through Squarespace extensions. Plus, with Squarespace email campaigns, you can effortlessly gather email subscribers, promote sales, and offer discount codes. They even provide built-in analytics to measure the impact of your email campaigns. So if you want to give it a try, you can visit squarespace.com forward slash the secrets of the universe. And if you like it, you can even get a 10% discount off your very first purchase by clicking the link in the description. The most important aspect of this image is the synchrotron radiation that's clearly visible in the web observations. 
Synchrotron radiation is a type of electromagnetic radiation emitted by charged particles such as electrons. When they are accelerated to relativistic speeds, and forced to travel in curved paths by a magnetic field. This acceleration causes the particles to emit light across the broad spectrum, from radio waves to X-rays. In the JWST image, this appears as a milky, smoke-like material throughout most of the Crab Nebula's interior. This synchrotron radiation is a result of the nebula's pulsar, whose strong magnetic field accelerates particles to extremely high speeds. This causes them to emit radiation as they wind around the magnetic field lines. Synchrotron emission is a key tool in understanding the behavior of cosmic magnetic fields. Although it occurs across the electromagnetic spectrum, the NIRCAM instrument on Webb has recorded it with unparalleled detail in the infrared wavelengths, offering new insights into this fascinating astronomical phenomenon. Diving deeper into the Webb image of the Crab Nebula, one can trace the delicate wisps forming a circular, ripple-like pattern around the center. This leads us to the pulsar at the heart of the nebula. Visible as a bright white dot, surrounding this pulsar, white ribbons of extended radiation map out the structure of the pulsar's magnetic field. Notably, on the left and right sides near the center, the material appears to sharply curve inward, creating an impression that the nebula's waist is pinched. This abrupt slimming is likely a result of the supernova's wind expansion being confined by a belt of dense gas. The forceful pulsar wind continues to drive gas and dust outward, carving loop-like structures. These loops are decorated with yellow, white, and green filaments, indicating dust-rich areas within the nebula. Additionally, certain gas filaments within the image exhibit a bluish tint which may suggest the presence of singly ionized iron too. This complex palette of colors and structures in the image not only adds to the visual splendor of the Crab Nebula, but also provides critical insights into the complex interplay of forces at work following a supernova explosion. The study of the Crab Nebula is important not only for supernovas, but for also studying solar system objects. The light emanating from the nebula is a powerful tool for examining other celestial objects that intersect its path. For example, in the 1950s and 1960s, astronomers utilized the radio waves emitted from the Crab Nebula to map the Sun's outer layer. They observed how these radio waves were affected as they passed through the solar corona, thereby gaining valuable insights into the Sun's atmospheric properties. Then, in 2003, astronomers seized the rare opportunity when Saturn's largest moon, Titan, passed in front of the Crab Nebula. This event, known as the Occultation, allowed scientists to study Titan's atmosphere in detail. As Titan obscured the nebula, its atmosphere bent the light from the Crab Nebula, enabling astronomers to analyze the refracted light and infer properties of Titan's atmosphere, such as temperature, pressure, and composition. This method provided a unique way to examine Titan's atmospheric layers without direct observation, offering insights into the Moon's atmosphere and its similarities or differences with Earth's. In the coming year, scientists anticipate receiving updated data on the Crab Nebula from the Hubble Space Telescope. This new information will be invaluable, allowing for a more precise comparison between the findings of the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescopes. By combining the strengths of both telescopes, Hubble's detailed optical imagery and Webb's deep infrared insights, astronomers hope to unravel the mystery surrounding the formation and evolution of this supernova remnant. Recently, the brand new Euclid Space Telescope released its first full-color images of the cosmos. These images from the edge of darkness have stunned astronomers, showing those details that were technically impossible with even the most advanced telescopes so far. If you miss them, make sure to watch this video.